Hi, this is Joel with DRW Associates. Today I'm going to be showing you how to program the notes on your Instantel Micromate Seismograph. You want to begin at the home screen. So you reach the home screen for whatever screen you're on by pressing the cancel button. You'll see the ready to monitor screen. From that point, you want to press the setup button. And then here, you've got your list of setup options. We're going to choose View Edit Current Setup. So you choose that either by touching the screen or by pressing the checkbox. Now on the screen you'll see all of your setups that you will have already set up or that uh, we will have set up for you before your rental. Your active sensor, type of microphone, recording mode, interval length, you're going to scroll down until you get to the notes section, which begins with location. So the notes options are location, client, company, and general notes. In order to change your note, you're going to choose the section that you want. So in this case, location. So you can, again, touch that or press the enter key. Same function. Here we have 9261 within a road. So we're going to say that we want to move this down the road somewhat. So what you're going to do, you have a couple of options. If we want to just change the address, you have these arrow keys that will move the cursor through your notes. So if we just want to change the address, you could move that cursor over until you were just behind the one. And then you can press this arrow key, that's your backspace. You can delete, and we'll change this to 9270. In order to access the numbers, you will use the shift button that's just to the left of the spacebar. Shift button also gives you access to lowercase characters as well as numbers. We're going to change this to 60. Six, zero. I like using a pen tip or a stylus. You don't need to push very hard. It will respond to your fingertip, but in my case, my fingers are big enough that I sometimes hit up other buttons. It's just as easy to use a pen tip or a stylus. Once you have your note the way you want it, you would go ahead and hit enter. Now, if you want to change your entire note, instead of just backspacing all the way through it, you can use the clear button. Clear takes everything away, and then you can re-enter whatever you want the location to be. So I'm going to use the shift button to move back to capital letters. I'm going to enter a new note. Location, spacebar. I'll use the shift button to get my numbers back. One. Now I'm happy with that. Once you get it to where you want, you'll go ahead and press that enter button. Now you'll have an option where you want to save the changes. You're going to want to do that. You need to press the checkbox here, press the checkbox here. Now you have the option to change the current file that you're already using, the current setup file, or to save to a new file. Now if you are a note here, if you are using the Micromate scheduler, then you want to be sure to save to the file that you're already in. If you save to a new file, your scheduler will still be pointed to your original file and therefore your modifications won't take effect. Now if you're not using the scheduler, you can go ahead and save to a new file and then you can call that file whatever you would like. In this case, I'm just going to save to the current file. It will double check that I want to overwrite that file with my changes. Yes, I do. And then that change has been made. Client company, you can change those as well. One thing with location, as if you're using the auto call home service, your emails are going to identify the unit based on the location name. So you want to make sure that location name is known to you and that it makes sense so that if you get an alert, you know exactly where that seismograph is calling you from on your project. General notes down here, again, you can leave this blank or you can use it. Some things that people use the general notes for, in this case, we used it to identify the trigger level for this project. That way, the trigger level is listed on your event report. 
So whether it's 0 0.5, 0 0.25, whatever it happens to be, you'll be able to see on your event report what your trigger level was if you have an interest in doing that. Other people will sometimes put the GPS coordinates of the seismograph into that space and you can put whatever you'd like to put into that field. I'm not going to make any changes in this case, so I'm just going to go ahead and X out. No changes are made. Down here you also see where you have your job number. If you have a project number or job number, you can put that in there. That is your last notes option. Then you get into other features. We're just focusing on notes for this training. So at this point, once you're done, you'll go ahead and cancel back out to get back to your setup menu. Cancel again. You're back and ready to monitor mode. Everything is saved and you're ready to go. Thank you.